flow the state of total immersion that which man obtains through one's optimal experience in that moment's trace they shall know happiness when a person focuses on something they can get so absorbed in their work that they don't notice the passage of time taking enjoyment in that process their brain enters a state of excitement to put it simply that's flow Ego lectures the blue lock players on entering the flow state and says that it is an experience that one can enter at any time whether it's playing shogi, working at your job and many other physical or artistic endeavours and this state can be entered at any point regardless of the scale of the activity. While teaching them about the flow state, Ego asks the players to think back to a time while at blue lock when they entered the flow state and put everything they had in the play. Isagi understands that experience that Ego is talking about despite hearing the word flow for the first time and he thinks about the instances where he has entered that trance and that the next step of his development is right here. Ego then moves on to the next topic which is how to enter the flow state and that can only be achieved through challenge centered focus. Ego explains to them that it involves attempting an objective at a suitable level of difficulty and he shows them a graph of the balance between challenge and skill and that is what's necessary to enter flow. If someone challenges something that is lower than their skill level, they'll eventually become bored because there's no enjoyment in the task. But on the other hand, if you undertake a task which is far above your skill level, anxiety will creep in because you've convinced yourself that you will fail. Happiness cannot be achieved in a bored or anxious state which is why challenge centered focus is so important because it requires accurately understanding your abilities, gaining control over them and setting suitable goals for yourself. Doing this will immerse you in a flow state but ego advises them that it's no easy feat to become immersed in something. Your everyday life overflowing with a constant stream of information and entertainment is an infinite hell designed to distract you from your boredom and anxiety. Perhaps you could say that it's easy to become immersed in your smartphone screen and indeed you'll be able to forget about both time and yourself with that. However, that is not a unique state of immersion that you actively obtained for yourself. Something as passive as that cannot be called ego. He refers the players to the thrill of scoring a goal and gaining a new weapon and he calls that true happiness that only they can have and that is what ego is. He asks them to reflect on their victories, the taste of world football they got and how truly powerless they are. He then asks them a question about the upcoming under 20 match, if it makes them bored, or if it makes them anxious. The door to winning the under 20 match lies in the blue lock 11 entering the flow state. Isagi listens intensely and he sees this as a challenge for himself. On that big stage, I'll reach my flow. I need to find a goal I can immerse myself in. A goal that only I can score. Ego readies them for their final training camp and ignites a fire, a passion within the players saying that they will become those who will tear down the fabrics of Japanese football and become the egoists of a new era. The world is awaiting their goals. Back at the Japan under 20s training camp, Oliver Aiku meets up with Sai Itoshi to discuss Shido. While training, Shido and Sendo go into another fight and it's apparent that the two just can't get along. Sai however doesn't care but Aiku attempts to make him understand that despite Sendo not being on par with his standards, He's still the ace of the under 20 team and it's going to the point that most of the players may end up refusing to play if Sendo isn't in the game. So Aiku makes a request and that is to take them to victory without using Shido and he says to him that it shouldn't be hard for the boy genius. Sai then asks him if he's speaking on behalf of the Japanese football union or the under 20 team. Aiku keeps it real with him and says that it's out of his own curiosity and intrigue as to what Sai can bring to this team. Sai then agrees to Aiku's deal and warns him that if none of them can keep up with him, he'll drop out of the match. The day of the big match has arrived and all of the Blue Lock players are in the locker room gearing up before heading out onto the big stage. Seemingly enough, Isagi doesn't feel any pressure. Butra asks him to check whether his blue lock uniform suits him and Isagi replies that he's looking good but he's surprised about the fact that this is their first time wearing a blue lock uniform. Chigri tells the group how far they've come as players now that they'll be facing the under 20s and Nagi replies 
saying that they're just getting started and their journey won't end here. Ego arrives to the locker room and he has finally decided upon the players who will be the substitutes for the match. And because they're only allowed free substitutions, the bench players must be ready at a moment's notice to enter the game if they are chosen. Now, in the past two weeks, with the sole goal of winning this match, you have all succeeded in coming together as a team. The world does not yet know of you. Is this not the ultimate stage in these coming 90 minutes? Change your fates. We're winning this blue lock. Today, you will carve your egos into the world. With Ego's charged up speech to Team Blue Lock, the players head out to the tunnel where they meet Japan's under 20 players who were patiently waiting for them. Isagi is astonished at seeing the Japanese team for the first time and Rin walks to the front line where he meets his brother once again. The younger Itoshi gazes at his brother with a look of scorn while Sai is unbothered. Aiku speaks to Isagi about Shido being a Blue Lock member and he tells him that he won't play during the match because the under 20 team will win this without letting Blue Lock score a single goal and he wishes him the best. If I lose, that'll be the end of my football career. It's only because of everything I've managed to live through that right now I'm standing on this stage. The two commentators proclaim to the nation about the match of the ages that's about to begin, with one of them being incredibly excited with Sai Itoshi playing. For the formations, the Blue Lock 11 will be going with a 4-5-1, while the under 20 team will be going with a 4-3-3 attack formation. With the game being broadcasted from Blue Lock Stadium, Isagi stands on the pitch with a feeling of awe, just thinking about how far he's gone from being on a losing team due to his old thought process to coming to Blue Lock and now playing in the match of his life in front of this entire crowd. He then starts to wonder how far he'll be able to fight and decides to focus and immerse himself into the game despite his nerves. Rin then slaps him on the back calling him lukewarm and asks why he's getting nervous and Isagi replies that he's just excited. Let's go Isagi. Yeah. The battle between Blue Lock and Japan begins. Back in the locker room, the substitutes are shocked that the under 20 starting lineup doesn't include Shido in it. But Igor tells them not to worry about it because Team Blue Lock will execute the plan. The match begins with Isagi, Rin, and Nagi, who set up a triangular centered formation to pass to one another. And Igor explains the purpose of this. The 4 5 1 that they are using is only for the defensive. However, when they become offensive, Karosu will fall back to support Nico and Aryu, while Batra and Chigri will push up in to the midfield to form a 3-6-1 formation. This is made possible for a team made up of strikers and with this lineup this can allow for goals to be scored from anywhere on the pitch. Wachira and Chigri move past their opponent's blind spots and the under 20 defenders noticed Blue Lock's increased numbers. Isagi passes the ball to the monster himself, Bachura Meguru. Bachura uses his elastic dribbling against Hayate, starting off with rapid scissor feints, then moving towards his defender, and while maintaining his speed, he performs an aerial rush turn, rotating behind the player and clearing past the defense. Bachura then examines the field to see the most suitable player to pass the ball to. The only player linking up with him is Isagi Yoichi, and so Bachura does a long range pass towards Isagi, and with Bachura Bachura's dribbling and perfect passing, Isagi runs for the ball and just as he was about to break through the under 20 team, Oliver Aiku jumps into the air just as the pass was heading towards Isagi and he intercepts it to the surprise of team Blue Lock. Isagi analyzes Aiku's play and he asks himself whether or not Aiku was able to predict it and he now understands that Aiku reacted on reflex. Amazed by the abilities of the captain of the under 20 team, Aiku tells him that strikers are often compared to robbers and defenders are the cops. He isn't going to let any robbers steal any goals. Even though Butcher and I brought out our best plays, he saw through that and shot us down in an instant. So this is how amazing the under 20 team is. Oh, this will be fun. So Isagi accepts his challenge and playfully tells him to go ahead and try. IQ will be the landmark that leads me to flow. Hi guys, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. 
The match has finally started between the Blue Lock and the Under 20s. We learned about the importance of the flow state and how entering that may give Blue Lock the possibility to win. But guys, we saw that it's not going to be easy for the team, especially with the defenders, in particular Oliver Aiku. And what's so crazy is that we haven't even seen Sai Itoshi touch the ball yet. So you guys are going to be in for a treat because that's going to be the next video. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been working very hard on these videos. I've been entering the flow state myself <laughs> just to deliver quality content so i appreciate it if you guys like share leave a comment and subscribe to the channel man it helps me out a lot thank you to everyone who's taken out the time to watch the video and until next week stay blessed